Okay, channel, welcome. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Okay, we're a little bit early. Just a little bit early, but today, you're gonna think I'm Lulu. I mean, you probably already think that, but... I have these two Impalas here. 68 Impalas. I'm going to put a Hemi in this one. This one I got at the auction. It looks pretty pristine, right? It looks really nice. Well, it needs a lot of work yet, but it does run. Then we got this one. We found this one at the junkyard. This needs everything but the kitchen sink in it. I'm going to put the Hemi in this one, and I'm thinking about putting the Coyote in this one. I already pre-built these. The 65, uh, 65, 68, yeah, it's, it's around that. So we're going to put a Hemi in one. We're going to put the uh, Ford Coyote engine in the other one that I pre-built. Uh, give me a second here. Let me see something. Gotta make sure everything's working right. Second here. Yep. All right. Yeah. I found out how to do custom engines there, Matthew. You go to here, create new engine, and this, 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 this. So I can put any kind of engine in any kind of car now. But you'll see what I do here. Uh, add engine in the crate. We have a Hemi. And we have a V8 Coyote. Well, like I said, this one does run. Not very good, but it does run. Let's move this over to entrance A for a second. This one does run. I bought this at the auction. Probably overpaid for it. And it takes it a second to start up. Come on, girl. Come on. You can do it. There it goes. It started. Yeah, I remember you, Matthew. I remember you. There. Well, we're going to take this to the racetrack with this old engine in it. And we're going to have a heck of an upgrade for this thing later. Speed track. We're going to take this one to the racetrack. Let me turn my picture off for a second. We'll see what it does with the standard V8 in it. I'm going to see what it does with the standard V8 engine in it. The other one's got a V6. We're not putting a V6 in it. Uh-uh. Oh. -uh. Um. Not much of a takeoff speed. Oh, cool. Which game were you playing, if you don't mind me asking that? I painted it yellow because my dad had one like this that was yellow. But it did have the black stripes on it. Alright, we got 71 mile an hour out of it in third gear. Payback 2, yeah, I have that. I have that. I bought that during the uh, Christmas Steam sale. And I think I got all the DLCs to it. I think they're coming out with Payback 3 here pretty soon. Alright. We can only get 80 mile an hour out of it. Yeah, I got it. I also got it on PS4 too. But I ain't gotten hardly any of the DLCs to it. Alright, we're only getting 80 mile an hour to it with that engine in it. That's not going to fly. 
They had a new update. I'll have to look at it. Oh, cool. Really cool. All right, we had three people watching. Now we got back to two. Well, give me a second to get back in the garage, people. Now, I looked up these cars. They had the two-door fastback. They had the regular two-door. They had a four-door. And they had a station wagon. So they got four different models of these. Uh, move. Move car to car lifter B. I'm thinking we ought to work on this one first. Then this one. And make them. We're going to race them against each other. We're going to race them against each other. Yes. So I'm putting the Hemi in this one. And I'm going to put the uh, Coyote in this one. The Ford Coyote is basically a souped up Triton. But let's get it going. We don't really have to do much but the undercarriage, the motor, and stuff like that. So, let's start with the good car first. A radiator fan, we don't need to take that off yet. We need to take that. Brake servo. All that's going to come out when we pull the engine out. Yeah, yeah, the wagon's nice. The older wagon used to have just a crank-up window for the back. I think these had both. The uh, You could hand-crank it or do it on a switch inside. And I think uh, these, the 65 through 68, I believe, the back door would open down towards you or out towards the side if I remember right let's pull this all the way up I'm gonna go get our gas tank pull that all right gas tank must have a fuel pump on it not no more it don't there we go Yeah, that's when they actually made cars. And they were a lot cheaper than the cars today. And they, I think they made them better back then than they do today. Okay, pull that wheel. I'm going to pull my brakes. This car is... I'm surprised this thing runs. I really am. But the motor runs, but everything else is pretty much trashed on this car. Got this at auction. Might have overpaid for it when I was looking for one. But I wanted a rusty up one. That's why I got that other one. It took me several hours finding both of these. But I thought, you know, let's make it interesting. Let's make it in. When I found out that you can change engines in cars, that's when I thought, yeah, let's make it interesting. Pull the starter off on that. All right, let's get our bushings. Hmm. Okay, let's get our bushings. And one more to go. It should be over here somewhere. Let me see. Get around that. There we go. Let's pull this tire off. We're going to build two cars, kind of. 
I already got the engines pre-built, so that leaves us a whole bunch of time that we don't have to spend building the engine. reason you want both ends off both tires off at the same time so you can take most of the parts out Mike you got that let's go over back to this side let's pull her out her tie rod any tie rod now the steering rack will come out there Barbie fixing cars for the win. All right, cool. I like this game. This game's supposed to come out on PS4 and Xbox One um, this fall, is what I've read. All right, we got the other side yet. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Now you gotta get our sway bar link here off. Our sway bar B. What do I call it? Now you'll be able to take the sway bar off. Get your shock absorber. Bottom suspension arm. Oh, you, you used to have this game? This is a pretty cool game. I kind of like it. I kind of like this game. Plus with the modded cars, I really like this game. That you can get off the Steam Workshop that people build. When they uh, bring it to uh, PS4 and Xbox One, I hope they have some kind of workshop like that where people build the cars. That would be pretty cool. All right, we got everything off the front end. I don't see no parts. All right, let's let's disconnect the front end from the back end right now. Take the dry shaft off. Four bolts in the front, four bolts in the back. It's done. Let's get our transmission. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, this game's easy to get addicted to. Very easy to get addicted to this game. All right, let's pull our mufflers. All right. Let's pull the back end apart. Brake drum, brake shoes, wheel cylinder, solid rear drive axle. I should have most of this stuff in my inventory. My inventory is pretty darn full of stuff. Lee Springs. Well, you ought to play it. If you ought to go to the Steam Workshop and look at all the cars they have. Oh, that's what I do. I always look there like once or twice a week to see what new cars come out. Solid control. Okay, can't do that till we take the leaf spring plate off. We got this. Shock absorber B is going to go bye-bye. And shock absorber cap. Rear spring, spring cap. All right, now it's time for this side. Brake drum. 
brake shoes, drum wheel cylinder. I ain't got four people watching. Cool. All right. Any time. We're putting a Hemi in this one there. Whoever has wasn't watching from the beginning here. We're going to put a Hemi in this one. And that other one over there, we're going to put a Coyote engine. Which is basically a Ford Triton. A, a souped up Ford Triton engine. And then we're going to race them. Shocking Zerba B. Cap. Really spring. Spring cap. Coil spring drive. Alright, everything's out from underneath here. Oh, okay. Oh, you ain't got the PlayStations and stuff on your Wi-Fi network yet. Okay. Now I understand. Alright. Got everything out from underneath it. Bring her down. Make sure I got everything out from underneath here. And it seems to be. But just for giggles... Just for Mr. Giggles. Let's take that battery. Alright, I ought to have a bad battery in here. And yeah, 35% and it still started the car. Amazing. Alright. It's going to bring the welder to car lifter B. I think that one was. Yeah. Yeah. Put that back. Let's put that over car lifter A for now. Because we're going to use it later. Move equipment to car lifter B. There we go. Move this over to car lifter A. Engine crane. Right. Um, car lifter B. Right, we're going to yank this engine out. Pull out. Ah, I forgot about that. Oil. Yeah, I had to put oil in this car when I first bought it. So I kind of forgot about that. got to raise the car up first. Alright. Not yet. Not enough for that yet. Car lifter B. There we go. move that back. We shouldn't need that for the other one. Now, what am I stuck on all that right there? Yeah, and plus I'm going to put a custom transmission in it too. Alright, pull out. Install. Why won't you let me uh, do that? I don't know. Let's see. Why can't I put that engine in there? I put a custom one in here. Uh, let's see. Let's 
see if it'll let me do it now. No, it won't. All right. Uh, probably, I know what it is. Give me a second. Ms. Maybe I gotta pull this one apart. Okay, we'll do that. Pull it apart, why not? apart pull it apart I guess it won't let me do it until I pull this apart we'll see uh, it was a good idea let's see try something here. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can just put the other engine in here. Nope. It's only gonna... Well, not that we tear this thing apart. Maybe. Yeah, for now. I'm going to tear this apart and see what happens. I'm going to tear it apart and... Maybe i got to tear the, the whole motor apart just to put the new motor in, maybe. I'm thinking that's what's got to happen. No problem. We'll do that in a jiffy. take me very long to pull them apart. Just putting them together takes me a little while. Let's pull the wires. Spark plugs. The other engine is going to be a lot easier to do because it's not fully together. Just give me a minute. We'll get this done. Well, I 
thought I could just slap the other engine in here without taking this apart. Tear a good engine apart, no problem. It's all good. Shaft. This. We'll turn her over. All right. Pull the pistons, piston rods, and stuff like that apart, and we got it. I said I can tear apart an engine a lot quicker than I can build one. I pull that head off yet too. One there, one there, one there, one there. And it took me several hours to do this this morning. You know, build those other two engines. I'll be angry if I can't put them in these cars. Clutch. Come on. Once I get this thing all in pieces, maybe I can do it. motor yeah well there's not, nothing left hardly of it I mean it basically was at the end of its life I think it was at the end of its life pretty much I mean it could only get up to 80 miles an hour and it was struggling for that surprised I didn't blow the engine never done that yet blown an engine in this game that would be pretty cool if you could do that have a piston go, go right through the uh, block this one crankshaft bearing another piston here just in there. Pistons everywhere. Alright. Now, engine block. Alright. Now, let's see here. No, nope, it's not going to let me put my pre-built motor in, I don't think. Nothing this morning. D 
Did all that work for nothing? I can't put a custom engine in it? What the heck? Add engine in the crate. Now let's see, if I put that like that, let's see what happens. Nope. Ah, oh, heck. I was thinking about putting a Hemi in this thing. Let me see. I think I still can do this. I think I still can do this. have to build it from scratch I guess inside the car V80HV yeah I can only put the original engine in it for some reason sugar why why they have those things for the custom engine? Maybe because this is not a modded car. Is the only thing I can come up with. Yeah. Maybe because it's not a modded car. Well, there goes that idea. sugar because these are the standard cars oh I thought I could get away with building an engine I'm gonna try something for a second I've got a modded car here. I'm going to rip the engine out just to see if I can put the modded one in there. I'm going to see if that's the reason why it's not letting me do it. Yeah, so I'm going to attempt I'm going to do something with this Volkswagen for a second. Thing holding this in it doesn't appear to be all right let me just move this to number a b no to c for a second all right let's attempt to put this an engine in it Oh, pull out. Now, let's attempt to put an engine in. No, it's still not letting me do it. Still not letting me do it. There's no engine in it. Let me see if I put it in manually. All right. Nope, it's still not letting me put the uh, custom engine in it for some reason. That's weird. So I have to build a new engine. Can't get away with it. You know what? Hold on a minute. Let me see something. Now that you're talking that, let me see something. Uh, move car. Here. 
Let me see if I can put the Hemi in the uh, other car. We got Christine up here, right? Let's bring this, let's bring Christine out for a second. Maybe a Hemi can only go in a Hemi in a uh, Chrysler product. Interesting. Let's see. It didn't say that. It was an idea. I'm going to take Christine down. We're going to pull her engine and transmission out. And we're going to attempt to try to put that in there. If that's the reason, that's the reason. And we'll just use Christine's engine for the other one. Two, 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 two. Where are you, Christine? There you are. And move to garage. Well, you can look back in my files. It's this past week. It's this past week. You can look at it. I think it was Monday. All right, let me just go here. This is an idea I have because it's a Plymouth. You can look back on my videos. I think that was on Monday I built that. Either Monday or Tuesday. Alright. I'm going to attempt... Because Christine is a Mopar. So do I got to keep the Hemis with the Mopars? I guess the Fords with the, uh, the Coyote. We'll see. Alright. Alright, let's move you. Move car. Here. Let's attempt to pull her motor out and see if that's it. Uh, what V8 OHV? I would have a engine for the other one anyway. Now. This, this, okay. There's nothing up from up here I need. I'll see if I got one in uh, stock here. If I don't, alright, hold on a minute. Uh, First, let me pull the starter. Try shaft. It's worth a try. See if I can put the, the Hemi in this. Exhaust pipes, exhaust pipe, that ought to be it. Alright, where is that darn engine hoist that right there? Move equipment to A, B, C. Sugar. I forgot about that. C. 
see. Yeah, I'll see if I got one up in stock. If I don't, it may take me a while to find one. I don't know. Now, come on down, Christine. Pull out and install. No, it's not going to let me use the uh, the Hemi. I don't believe it's not going to let me use that Hemi. Oh wait a minute. Oh, let me see. Now that it's down, let's see. Nope. So far, no. No, nope, but just just let you put the OHV in it. Oh well. Such is life. It was a good idea. So we're not going to be able to put the Hemi in, uh, in these cars. Add engine into crates. None of these. Hmm. V8 OHV. I'll just use the one from Christine right now and then I'll put a new one in that one. What the heck? And might as well. Hmm. Yep, one carb OH3. Yeah, that's all it's let me put in here. Oh boy, oh boy. This is not working out the way I wanted it to. Well, I guess time to build it. I couldn't get away with it. I don't have time to build one. I'll just junk the other one. Since it don't want to play my way. I'll have to look how how you put those custom engines in. Yeah, well, so is Christina modded car too. 
and it wouldn't let it put it in there. So, so let me put this together here. I thought I could get away with this without doing this on the uh, live stream and it didn't work. So much for that. So much for thinking I was going to put a Hemi in a uh, Impala. Oh well. Just have to look up cars and what... Uh, Custom engines I can put in them in them when before I build them. How much for that? Must be missing a couple of rod caps here. Come on, give me the, uh... Oil cap. Try to build this as quick as I can. Watch release bearing. Oh boy. Fuel filter. Fold on real quick. Uh, we got one more bolt. There we go. And the Hemi took uh, 16 spark plugs. Eight on each side. Rats. I'll just leave it in my uh, thing and try out different engines, I guess. Well, that didn't work. I hate it when a plan doesn't come together. Our steering pump. I really wanted to put a Hemi in that in that Impala. Oop, OHV gear, cam gear. Oh well. 
Cam Gear OHV. There we go. Building this thing pretty quick. Distributor, I got plenty of these. Your rotor. So I'll have to look how to put these custom engines in these cars. I really would have liked to have done this. I guess you can't pre-build them and put them in. How much for that idea? Built. Build this side. Uh, you only gonna let me put the one carb one on, huh? You dummy. So that six cylinder one's gonna get thrown in the trash. <laughs> Since it wouldn't let me do what I wanted to do. Put it in. Put the rocker arms on. This thing should be just about built. Oh, I got to put the spark plugs in yet. No Hemi for my Impala. Oh, I'm angry over that.
All right, kind of looking at the engine upside down here. See if I can get to these spark plugs. They're kind of a little hard to get to, but two, three, four. All right. Where's the other ones at? Over here somewhere. One, two. Four. There we go. There's the wires. All right, we got everything. Looks like it's everything. All right, now let's pull this off. Pull it off from the crate. Yeah. Alright, this car I'm going to junk. Since I can't do with what I wanted to it. Goodbye. And it's only worth $5,700 anyway. Bye bye. Uh, this one's going to be worth some money now. Not as much money as it would have been, but some money. 30391 It's only worth 22000 the way it was. What? No use crying over spilt milk, I guess. All right. Put oil in it. Oh, you're signing off? Okay. Alright, got that one there. And let's move this over to C and put Christine's motor back in. And I'll button that up later. Alright. Alright, the radiator. This. Big servo. Oh yeah, battery. Alright, everything else, most everything else is going to be from the bottom here. member on gearbox I think I got some custom jobbies yeah I do and I looked up how to set these the gears ratio and everything on them hopefully it works Upper suspension arm. First, let me put my bushings in so I don't forget them in my cross member.
more bushing. And let's get the while we're here, let's get the muffler. Get the metal muffler. Did we get that starter on? Okay, yeah, we put the starter on. Alright, we're good on that that end. Rubber bushing. Inner tie rod, outer tie rod. Should have, there it is. Okay, we got five people watching. Cool. Just give me a little while here. We're gonna set this thing up. All right, we got this. This, this, this. Let's go to this side. Put the tie rods and stuff on. Out of my realm where I can't see nothing. There we go. There's that. Upper suspension arm. Three bolts done. Bottom suspension arm in. All right, the link. Shock observer. Already had it built for the other car when I was gonna build it. This wouldn't do it. the front end now it goes for the back end put it back in mount mode get our fuel tank we get the uh, fuel pump on top of it you won't start the car ooh ain't got no coil drive axles not a problem Yeah, 
Yep. Just real angry I couldn't get that uh, that Hemi in here. Still real angry over that. I tried. And here we go. Rear drive coil axle. And we got that. We'll get the drill dry shaft in in a second all right dry shaft rubber bushings in here you won't be able to take the car out to the track or anywhere out of the garage unless you sell it all right solid rear drive axles got those there we go put brake parts on Get, give me a minute you're getting ahead of me here Spring should be a little cap shock absorber B. All right, what about these loose spring plates? Got plenty of those. U bolts. Well, the Hemi was an idea, but it didn't work. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to harp on because I couldn't put a Hemi in a Impala. Don't know why they won't let you do that. Maybe in an update or something, they'll, they'll let you do it. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. They do an update. You could put any engine in any vehicle. Eh, it was a thought. All right. Mm, leaf spring plate. Make sure I got everything. I got everything. Put my brake shoes on. All right. This one over here. All we got to do is just put the brake shoes and the uh, drum on. We're done with this side. Then we're going to order tires. Alrighty. I'll put Christine's motor in later on. <laughs> put her motor back in. She's probably not too happy over that. Alright, what size tires did I have on those? 15s. 205. I'm thinking about 250. 16. 17s in the rear. Yeah, 250 17s in the rear. Alright. Alright. Let's go. Rims. Hmm. 
to 17s in the rear. Fifteens in the front. All right. Now let's go order the tires. Seventeens. Now nah, what would? I'm thinking about two fifties for those. There we go. All right, let's put the, let's get these tires done, and this thing should be done. We ain't got to put no body parts on it. It already had it done, so yeah. Let's get the set. Let's get the real ones done first. The Seventeen. Take. Seventeen, yes. Got to balance it. You can't put it on the car without balancing it. A little skinny tire. Take. that one so no hemi and the last of the Mohicans are gonna go here So let's get the back end right now. Should be both these seventeens. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what did I do? What have you done? Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool actually. That looks actually pretty cool. Alright, let's take this one. Take this one. We've only got one more to balance. Let's look at it from this angle. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's take this one. Let's go to the front of the car. Put these little itty bitty tires on the front. So, part mount. Alright, where's this other tire at? Too bad. I'm done worse. 
Let's see, move. Car to entrance B for now. Oh yeah, I like that. That looks cool. The front seat. Now comes the real test. Yeah, at least it's not until it starts like it did before. Alrighty. But I'm going to change it. Now, where's my little cheat sheet for the six speed? Here we are. Six speed. We put the custom transmission in this jobby. I got a little cheat sheet of how to tune this thing. Whoa, not a 7.6 gear. Alright. 362. Alright. 344. For first gear, second gear is 222. Uh, all right, third gear, 158. Okay, fourth gear one nineteen. Fifth gear oh ninety three. What's this one at? Okay, sixth gear. Seventy seven. Hmm. Well, let's give her a try. Let's give her a try at that at what this one guy said to set it at. Oh, let's Got her all painted up. Got all good, good parts on it, so. Let's take her up to the speed track. Alright, let me take my picture off so we can see the speedometer. It's got takeoff better. Yeah, before it would only do 80 mile an hour. Yes. Yeah, got it up to 150. And only did 80, so uh, double the mileage. Double the mileage. So I'm going to keep that one. Alright, that's going to be the end of this. I'll see what we'll do on... Um, Monday. I'm going to take tomorrow off of doing a uh, live stream. I'm going to take tomorrow off. Might do some pre-records, but I'm going to take Sunday off. Let's 
so whoa so we'll probably build this Volkswagen and then we'll have all kinds of Volkswagens let me see if I can put that engine back in here probably got to use the uh what's it call it all right so the next live stream will probably be monday at three o'clock i'm gonna put christine's motor i'm gonna hook her motor back in she's probably not too happy so i'll have to find out how to put these custom motors in so, you know so i'll have to look on that so it did pretty good even though we didn't get the hemi in it so with that I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. You like her? Give her likes up, please. Let's see how high we can get those likes to go to adults and kitties. Everybody would love it. Feel free to leave a mature comment. Want to see more videos like this? Or register on the ch -ch 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 channel. Don't be shy. Please subscribe. See you in the next video. Adventure here.